As part of the project I was working on for writing a, a, a game, uh, I needed to learn about code signing and uh, what it's for. So the reason we have code signing is to do a couple of things. Make sure that we're getting a code from a known source um, and that that source is safe and secure. It's also to prevent the code from being tampered with. And it's also to make sure that the code is not behaving badly. Now, when I first used computer, uh, there was no operating system that uh, we know of today. There were no hard drives built into the systems. We got our programs from tapes or floppies, and we would run it. And when we were done, we would shut the machine off. And so everything was wiped and started from fresh. But that was rather inconvenient. So with operating systems and hard drives, it's much more convenient to um, have a whole bunch of programs available at our fingertips. But still, uh, the machines weren't interconnected. We still had to download them and buy them and install them, and so we knew where they were coming from. But with the age of the internet, where everything's uh, interconnected, there's uh, software flying all around the place, and we need to pay attention to make sure that the software is safe for us to use and is not doing things with it, uh, which it's not supposed to. And part of the solution is, uh, well, really the main solution is using SSL certificates and, and keeping track of uh, our code by signing it all. So where do we get our software? Where do we get our applications? Um, today with the internet, we can just go to any server on the internet and, uh, and download files from it. Well, we really can't be sure of who put the server up. Um, is the server really um, doing what it says it's doing? Um, you know, is it a trusted source? So they came up with a method um, to do a couple of things. To um, identify a server and um, give it a certificate to say, this server has been certified, we know who it is, um, we know what company it's running from, and we know the location and, and all that information. But once we have this certificate, we can also encrypt the information so that other people can't um, observe uh, the transmission. But how do you know that that SSL certificate's any good? That is just not uh, something that's made up. Well, we have a list of central authorities which keep track of these certificates, and for a server to um, get a certificate, it has to go to a central authority uh, to apply for one. And the central authority's job is to ensure that, yes, it is who it says it is, and they're actually doing um, business, and that uh, they have a reputation of being safe and secure. And so when a user gets, one of these, uh, gets to one of these servers, they download the certificate, and they contact the central authority directly and say, hey, is this a known server is this certificate any good and it says yes it is now should the server start behaving badly and start posting um, malicious code or you know things which aren't good the central authority can just revoke that certificate and the user will, will, will get a notice that hey this this is not a safe server and the user can then make the decision to to not access it anymore and once you're sure you can download the file but uh, the file is only um, part of the step. The step for code signing is what's in the file. Um, because even though the server is secure, it doesn't mean that someone hasn't posted some bad data on the file. So uh, the file usually has some information on it saying who the vendor is and, and who did it. So let's say, for example, this is this is the application that I wrote, and I put it up on a server. And I say, hey, yeah, this is, this is my code, but how can you be sure that it's, I am who I say I am? It's the uh, certificate, which we attach to it, we sign the application with the certificate saying, hey, I'm MGD, I'm, I'm a coder, and uh, I, I do stuff, and, and this is my seal of approval that this folder and this file, this application, uh, was made by me. Uh, but you don't have to take my word for it. You can just contact the central authority because that's the group that I went to to say, 
hey, give me a certificate. I'm doing business as this person, and I'm going to be putting, putting up code. So the central authority will say, yes, you've been verified. You are who you say you are, and we are going to uh, um, grant this certificate to you. And as long as you keep doing good things, um, your certificate will be will be good. Um, if I start doing bad things, then the central authority will remove my certification, and then all my code will will stop running without all these uh, alerts. Now, let's say someone gets at my application file on a server, and uh, they start putting in some bad files and some bad code. So they're taking my good application and they're making changes to it to do bad things. Well, when I put a certificate on my folder, uh, it encodes it and encrypts it and keeps track of um, the size, the date, the checksum to make sure everything adds up the same. And if someone makes a modification to it, then that certificate won't work. It'll say, hey, this is not the same file that this was certified under and the certificate won't be working and the user will get the alert and the application won't run. So this makes sure that the application is safe for you to run no matter what, even if someone else has touched it. And that will make your code nice and happy and clean. And clean code is happy code.